Hi, this is Ankur Patel from Dell Technologies. So today I'm going to show you how to create a distributed volume uh, using the VPlex UI. So here is the VPlex UI. It's the new HTML5 UI. Uh, so I'll show you a couple ways of doing this. One is if you've already claimed volume. So if I go under provision storage and say create virtual volumes and select distributed, you can see the wizard that comes up and it will ask you to select the, the source uh, storage volumes. Uh, this, again, this assumes that it's already been claimed. Uh, but in this case, we don't have any claimed volumes. Uh, so we'll show you the, the other method. So if I go to distribute storage and I say create, it'll launch a wizard. So you can say provision from storage volumes or create from distributed devices. So in this case, we'll provision from storage volumes. Again, these are unclaimed volumes that you just presented from a uh, backend array. So first I'll create a consistency group and I'll give it a name. And I'll select who is the winner. So in this case, I'll select cluster one as the winner. So next uh, I select which is the source cluster. So in this case, I'll select cluster one and I give the virtual volume a name. I can choose if I want to, to enable local mirroring, but in this case, I just want to have a distributed volume. So I'll call it vvol one. And then it'll ask me which storage array do I want to take the source uh, storage from. So in this case, I'll select this first one. I'll select a two gig volume. And then it'll ask me, OK, at the second cluster, uh, where do I want to take the storage from? So I'll select an array there, select another two gig volume. And then if I want to export these to storage views so that a host can actually see it, I'll select which storage views I want to make those volumes present in. And I'll hit Finish. So it'll go through the process and you can see the, the result. Uh, so here, if I go into the storage or consistency groups, I can see all of my consistency groups. And then if I check out the virtual volumes, you'll be able to see that virtual volume that I created uh, listed in here. So it'll give it the name of uh, the virtual volume name I gave it, underscore uh, DD vault. So if I go to the individual clusters, I can look at the storage views and see those volumes uh, there as well. So on cluster one, I'll go to the storage view. And if I go to virtual volumes, you'll see that name. And if I also go to cluster two, you'll see that same name, right? So this is a single virtual volume that's presented to servers at two different data centers uh, or two different sites. They think that it's the same, same volume. They have no idea it's really two volumes under the covers. So you can see that it's being rebuilt Right, once it's done, you'll see a, a green checkbox. So that's how you do the provisioning from the UI. Uh, we do have the ability to do this via Ansible as well. So uh, if you're interested, uh, click in the, on the link in the description and uh, it'll take you to the Ansible page where you can download all the various playbooks uh, for VPlex. Thank you very much for your time.